welcome to Bruce's Shorts. My name is Bruce Devlin, I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Amberfin, and today we're going to go through the basics of MPEG-2. So what is MPEG-2? Well, it's one more than MPEG-1. MPEG-1 was designed as a compression scheme to deliver video at 1.5 megabits per second, or the data rate of a CD audio. This was important because back in the day, it was the only way that we would be able to deliver high bit rate data to the consumer. So MPEG-1 was all about getting that video squished down onto that audio disc. MPEG-2, however, was all about getting interlaced video out into a new broadcast digital arena. And those of you who follow specifications will probably know that MPEG-2 is also known as ISO 13818. Snappy title. But the important thing about MPEG-2 is that it's what's known as an intercoded system. What does that mean? Well, it means basically you send out one frame of your video called the iframe, and then you send out a frame that's predicted from that iframe. So if you like, it's the difference between these two frames is sent out. And that's important because you don't need to send as much information for the P frame, the predicted frame. And then in between those two frames, you do what's known as B-frames, or bidirectionally interpolated frames. And these are predicted from a bit of this one and a bit of that one. And it takes almost no bit rate at all to send those out. So by using these I-frames, these P-frames, and these B-frames, you get really good compression. You can really squish the, the video down and throw away 90% of the incoming bit rate, leaving 10% left that you see when you watch your TV at home. This has been one of Bruce's shorts. We've been talking about MPEG-2, and we'll tell you about other compression formats in other episodes. Thanks for watching.